Hey guys, Tim Mitchell here. I wanted to come with you for for another uh, frequently asked question today about marketing your business online. Today's question is what is a good backlink? Now, there's a lot of questions on that and there's a lot of debate on that. So I just wrote down a few things here. Uh, one is you're going to find that, that quality over quantity every all the time. I mean, anytime you can get if you can get uh, five or six good links from good sources, that's going to be better than finding a hundred links uh, from from crappy areas, crappy sources. Um, one bad links come from bad neighborhoods, you know. And so if you have, and it even comes so far as if the person that you link to links to bad stuff, you can get penalized a little bit. Google will penalize you from having bad links, um, and it's more a penalization of none of the links will count okay so you can have thousands of links from bad neighborhoods or link farms or things like that and they, they are absolutely worthless and so that leads right into don't buy links never never go to these link farms or these paid paid link exchanges things like that do not do those those are garbage uh, you know, worst or the best cases are not gonna they're not gonna get found by Google and they're not gonna seem relevant. Worst cases is you get penalized and your site can actually decrease rankings because of it. If you can try to get high page rank links, obviously the higher the better. If you can get anything page rank three, four, I mean those are those are terrific. If you can get higher than that, I mean that's even better, but you know, people get hot. It takes a long time and a lot of effort to get page rank, and people don't just rank or don't just link to any old website. It's taking them a lot of hard work and effort to get there. So, you know, it's going to be difficult to get those high page rank links. Try to get links that are relevant. You know, if you're if you're trying to market services, marketing services like I am. Okay, so if you're trying to market uh, SEO services and link services and, and marketing services to businesses. You do not want to get a bunch of links from um, dog walking websites, okay, or bird lover websites because Google does not see those as relevant. They do not see those as relevant and they won't they won't hardly count for anything. Um, link exchanges. Now generally you want to avoid link exchanges, but these the link exchanges that I'm advocating is is that you know in the local business community okay we all know each other and we all trust each other and we all like each other so for example at the Chamber of Commerce you could go and you could set up everybody could have a link exchange within the Chamber of Commerce to other local businesses now those would be good links they're not as relevant as you could be but they are relevant in the in the fact that they're all local they're all from Tulsa they're all um, trusted members of the community and so you they would see be seen as fairly relevant obviously you want to try to get as you know as niche specific as possible and you want to make sure that there's not too many links on the linking page if you go to a website and it has a hundred different links all of the link juice all of the linking power from say a high PR page is, is gone because it has to be distributed to the hundred different web pages that are linking to it so try to avoid that get a page that doesn't have very many links outgoing and if you're ready to learn and market your business online I have uh, free videos and free reports for you just go over to online Tulsa marketing dot com and sign up that's online Tulsa marketing dot com I have about 20 free videos a handful of free reports and guides that I just want to give out to you just to show you how to market your business some tips tricks and frequently asked questions again online Tulsa marketing dot com sign up and I'll talk to you soon